Hey guys, so today I decided I was going to do a video for you guys. Um, I don't know if you saw my last video where I was just talking about how um, I just wish, you know, I would do more videos and whatnot. So um, today I'm going to do a video. Um, it hasn't been requested, but I know a lot of people do this kind of video. It's how I straighten my hair, and I know everyone has a different way of doing it. Um, I'm just going to show you mine, that what, what works best for my hair, which this is my natural hair. I took a shower um, last night, and I put this product in it right before I went to bed. It's... Um, it's like a heat protectant, color protectant um, spray um, that my mom gets for me. But so um, I did that and then I went to bed and I actually had class this morning. Sorry, I don't know if you hear that. There's a train going by my dorm. This is my dorm, by the way. Um, that's my roommate's side of the room. This is my side of the room. But anyways, so I went to bed and I woke up and I just kind of put my hair in a bun because I woke up kind of late because I had a 9 o'clock class and I like to sleep more than I like to do my hair, but I always like to do my hair for work. Um, so, I am straightening it today, obviously, and what I did first, which I forgot to, uh, I didn't, um, film, was I put just the heat protectant on the Chi Iron Guard. Just sprayed it on my whole head, and then I flipped my hair, and I sprayed it, and I kind of focused it on the roots. Um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half of my hair up and straighten the rest of the hair. Actually, let me get my straightener first. That would be helpful. And the straightener I use is the Sidhu. It's the one half inch um, one. And I go up to like about 360, maybe like midway between 360 and 140. You can't really tell um, what this says. There you go, you can kind of tell. But that's where I keep mine, um, on and off. And then obviously when this starts to heat up, it um, starts to blink. But this is just my straightener. Um, I think it works best for my hair. Obviously I have like wavy curlyish hair. Um, it's very thick. So this is just what I found it works best for my hair. I have a chi. Um, it doesn't work as well. Um, when I like to curl my hair with my straightener, I use my chi because this obviously has um, square ends instead of round ends like the chi. So you just turn it on, and once this starts blinking, it is ready. So in the meantime, I'm going to let it heat up, and I'm going to put a half up, half down. Okay, and I know this looks weird, but for now, um, this is just... How I do it. So then I'm gonna take my Chi Silk Infusion and I just put that all throughout my hair. I don't use that much, probably more than the average set, average person. That's about how much I use. Work it through your fingers and then just kind of comb it through your hair. And then focus on the ends. So I'm gonna obviously see look. It is blinking now, if you can tell that. So I am going to start straightening my hair. I'm going to move the camera so I have more room to work down here at my desk where I'm sitting at right now. And I guess just enjoy. Okay, and I have it at this angle just so you can kind of see more. Um, but yeah, you see more of my room. But this is in between my bed posts. And this, you're on my bed right now, just so you know. Um, but so yeah, I'm just going to start straightening my hair and enjoy.
once you're done with your first section, um, I just put a little bit of Shine Infusion throughout my bottom layer. Like so, just like a tiny bit because if you put too much, your hair's gonna look greasy. Shake it up and put a tiny bit throughout your hair. Okay. You don't wanna kinda like cake it on like hairspray because obviously, like I said, um, it's just gonna leave your hair really greasy. Especially when you um we put it on the roots and it just looks gross and it's not cute. So yeah, I'm just I just work it through my hair after that. And then what I do just in order to make sure that I don't get the layers confused is I just put this one in a ponytail, a really low ponytail, so that it doesn't interfere with the top section of my hair. And make sure that it's like a pretty tight top ponytail, but um, not the tightest ever because you don't want to leave a crease in your hair. Um, but also you don't want it to come out and be too loose and you don't want it to get mixed up in all of the other hair and get re-straightened and then just damage it even more. So that's what I do and then I just take my top section down and I literally just do the same thing, put a little bit of this in. And then I also don't like to put too much of this on my scalp because it also makes it look greasy. But definitely focus it a lot on these ends because I feel like I go over these way more than I do my bottom layer. And like, this is how I normally like to part my hair. But as you'll see, um, when I start straightening, I, this, this side obviously has like little to no, um, hair on it. So I'll kind of, and this side has a ton of hair, um, I'll kind of bring some over kind of like that and just kind of focus on this while this side is obviously all the way over here and then I'll go back and straighten that. But um, you'll see that when I start straightening my hair. So enjoy and I'll be back in a minute. Now that you're done with this section, it's a little bump, but that's okay, we'll fix it. Take out your ponytail, shake it loose, and make sure it looks how you want it to. Brush through um, any possible bumps or um, anything. I'm going to redo my part because I don't really like how it is. Okay, and then once you get it as straight or the look that you want, um, first turn this off because you don't want this to, you accidentally forget to turn it off. And then leave your house and have your house burn down. I know that's a little extreme, but you never know. So then I'm just going to take this again. And then... Put it all over your hair. Um, I'll show you. Just basically put it all over the top. And then we're gonna flip and put it on the bottom. And I'll try to get up so you can see that. Okay. 
Obviously I didn't put much on the roots because then it gets greasy and it doesn't look good. But I try to focus it kind of in this area because I realize that's the place that, um, I don't know, I just, just, I just want it to look better. And it always bothers me first if it's not as straight. So I put it more here than I do the rest um, of the places. And then you're gonna flip over. Put on my leggings and socks. Flip and spray. Okay. And again. Like that too. Okay. And this is also this is a step that I found for myself that I like to do because um also go like this and just hair will just fall out. Anyways, so this is a step for myself that I found that I like to do because my ends are normally, you know, the most fried and stuff and they just like kind of, you can definitely tell if a girl straightens her hair and puts too much heat on your, her hair because normally her ends are really bad and fried. So this is what I do. I use the same um, Shine Infusion Spray. I take my ends kind of ball them up like that and I just focus them on the ends and go through them and I do it for the other side as well because I normally miss some in the process Okay, and again, here is just how I straighten my hair. This is what it looks like. Um, I'll show you the back. But yeah, so this is just how I like to do my hair. Obviously, it's probably not the right way. It's probably not the best way. But this is what I found um, works best for my hair. But let me go know if you guys like these kinds of videos. Um, I'll do one with showing you how I wand my hair, if you want me to, or how I curl it with my chi. Um, but also, stay tuned later today. I'm going to have kind of a get ready with me. I think this is... Maybe it'll be... Okay, I'm just going to talk over it because I don't know what's going on. I think the cleaning lady's in there, but obviously, I feel like I have to scream. Um, obviously, I don't think that's a normal cleaning product that makes that kind of noise. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully later today, um, I'm going to have a kind of get ready with me because I work today. Um, and I need to do like my face and my clothes and everything. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.